Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to play Dogman Attack of the Fleas. Dogman Attack of the Fleas is a good game made based off of Dogman Lord of the Fleas. So, now we're going to show you how to make the robot Brontosaurus. You take this box and you would grab these three pieces. So then you would take this, put it in the back of the box. Then this, put it in front. And finally, you would put that piece right there and put it on the spot marked fleas. And now we will show you how to make the Super Buddies. Here are my two characters. This can be play this game can be played from one to six players, but I am one and playing as two. So we will grab our stands and put them on each character. Like this. And then put them on the spots marked as their characters. Now we will make the spinner and game board. So you would take this round black piece and stick it through the middle of the spinner. Then you would take the arrow and stick it in the center, like so. Now you will put this here and grab the tools. You would grab the yellow and the purple. Put the purple on top of the yellow on a tool space. Like so. And now keep putting the tools on their spaces until the board is finished. This is setting up the board. Now that the board is set, we can begin. So, Cat Kid's going to go first. We spin the spinner, and we land on a two. He will move two spaces forward. And look, he got an invisible spray. He gets to move up to double. Now it's Dogman's turn. He spins, and he gets a one. He gets an invisible spray, too. Now it's the Robo Brontosaurus' turn. He spins a one. Cat Kid's turn. He spins a three. He gets a chopper and moves anywhere and can move anywhere. So, when I get our shrink ray, I will be able to teach you about all of the tools. Dogman moves a two and grabs an invisible spray. Robobrontosaurus moves a two and Cat Kid gets Another two. He gets an invisible spray. Now it's Dogman's turn. He is going to use an invisible spray. And he rolls a three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have all of the tools in here. So I, I will teach you about them. So the Robo Brontosaurus spin and move back allows you to spin the spinner and make the Robo Brontosaurus move back that many spaces. The invisible spray makes you move up to double the amount that is on the spinner. Shrink ray means you can destroy one piece of the Robo Brontosaurus. The chopper means you can move anywhere on the game board. Now we will spin for Robo Brontosaurus. He has a two. Cat Kid will spin and he has a one. 
Dog Man spins and he gets a three. And he gets a shrink ray and a chop. Cat Kid uses an invisible spray and he spins and gets a three. So he gets to move one, two, three, four, five, six. Now it is Dogman's turn. He is using a spin and move back for the Noble Brontosaurus. He spins. He moves back the Noble Brontosaurus by two. He also uses his chopper so he moves down here and uses two shrink rays that he has acquired to remove this and this. The Robo Brontosaurus now has only one piece left and it is Cat Kid's turn to spin. He moves one space. Now it is Dogman's. He uses an invisible spray and spins a three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now it is Robo Brontosaurus's turn. He gets to move one, two, three. Now with his cat kids, he will spin. He gets to move two. And now it's Dogman's. He uses an invisible spray. Spins a three. One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets to the flea space. Uses his shrink ray and he destroys the last piece. Kaboom! Now they have to get back within three turns, and it's Cat Kid's turn, and he uses his chopper to get to the dog man's house. And Dogman needs to get, oh, he gets a one. Dogman goes again, using an invisible spray. And he spins a one, so he gets to use two. Now this is his last chance. He spins a one. Oh no, we lost the game. So, if he got back to Dogman's house within his three turns, he would have won. But we lost because, well, he used three turns and didn't get back to Dogman's house. And that concludes Dogman Attack of the Fleas tutorial. See you next time. Bye.